what up YouTube <clears throat> today's video I want to talk about underestimation now underestimation is something that everybody can say that they experience because underestimation is like a drug it's like a disease you know what I'm saying like me personally I hate when somebody underestimates me now let me break this down now I know a lot of people probably feel the same way you know what I'm saying you hate when people underestimate you like if you short people think you can't play basketball people probably think you can't dribble you know what I'm saying they probably think you don't even know your cause just because you're short you know what I'm saying they prejudge you just because how you look now be a prejudice everybody I don't give a fuck who you are everybody has been prejudiced at least once because prejudice is prejudging people before you get the norm before you get the norm okay that's prejudice okay just to clear that up that's not racist that's prejudice prejudging someone you know what I'm saying but like you see somebody that's short on the basketball court 9 out of 10 from the people that you're gonna pick up you probably gonna get a tall person you know what I'm saying over a short person but it'd be funny if that short person a beast you know what I'm saying cause you underestimated him or her like people always underestimated me no matter what like it probably seems hard to believe but Yes, people have always underestimated me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, you can't rap. You can't hoop. Motherfucker rap, motherfucker hoop. Take over everything. Anything I touch, it turned to gold. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? See my aura? Super Saiyan fan type shit, plus eight. You know what I'm saying? But real talk, though. Like, I just don't like underestimation. And I've said this a few times. You know what I'm saying? That underestimation can get you killed. Now, when I say that... You know what I'm saying? You have to listen. Underestimation could get you killed. Now, what basically what that means is, that doesn't mean, you know what I'm saying, that you won't do anything, but the art of war, the book, the art of war, tells you that deception, in, in war, deception is one of your biggest enemies because if you underestimate and you, man, what the fuck, <laughs> tweet it. But yeah, if you underestimate your opponent, you see what I'm saying? You prejudge your opponent. Your opponent could kill you because you don't know if your opponent is going to attack back. But think about it like this. You underestimate your opponent. You look at your opponent like, oh, this person is this person. They're not going to attack. The whole time, boom, they already got a plan to destroy you. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you can't underestimate. Vice versa, you look at somebody... You go, like, nah, that's a good person. Nah, that's a bad person. You misread their energy. You, you you go off what you think, you know, and boom, that shit just blow up in your face. It happens every time, you know what I'm saying? You have to know how to read somebody's energy. You know what I'm saying? People always misread my energy, you feel me? But, like I say, you know, supposed to underestimate nobody. The art of war, deception is your biggest enemy when you're in war. I'm trying to tell you that, people. Y'all better wake the damn up. But, think about it, though. What do you have an afro, whether you have a haircut, whether you have curly hair, you know what I'm saying, whether you have straight hair, wavy hair, no matter what, you know what I'm saying, no matter what hairstyle you rock, no matter what style you pursue, you know what I'm saying, somebody always going to prejudge you, you know, no matter what color they is, you know what I'm saying, because color, what is color, a color is a crayon, your skin it, it looks like a color, the color brown, you know what I'm saying, bronze, whatever you want to say, but your skin really is not a color because color is for crayons, you know what I'm saying, your skin has a hue, you know what I'm saying, a darker hue, a lighter hue, you know what I'm saying, your pigmentation, you know what I'm saying, like, real talk, like, you, like if you preach at somebody, like, for example, a quote-unquote black person walking down the street and they see a white person, the white person probably think, <clears throat> the white person probably thinking, oh, this guy's probably going to try to rob me. You know what I'm saying? And the uh, black person probably thinking, oh, let me just move on. Let me move to the side of the street because this person might try to hang me or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some ignorant shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's how it goes. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's how it is. Like, it's not the fact that you racist. You know what I'm saying? It's like you prejudging people. Uh, it's like, like I said, it's an awkward racist moment, okay? I'm the first people, person to ever tell you that. Awkward racist moment. Like with the Alton Sterling and the Philando Castile situation. 
that necessarily, well, I was talking about being prejudiced, but I ain't mean to go off topic, but let me break this down. An awkward racist moment, like, for example, you walk down the street, you bump into a white person, boom, whole time, altercation, blah, 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 it look like some racist shit, but it ain't racist, it just so happened to be a white person, it just so happened to be a black person, an awkward racist moment. But the Alton Sterling and the Orlando Castile situation, that's an awkward racist moment. You see what I'm saying? It just so happened to be white cops to respond to you know what I'm saying? Whatever call, it was called for the Alton Sterling thing or those white cops that just so happened to be patrolling the neighborhood and just went to the bottom. They just so happened to be white. And Alton Sterling, the victim, just so happened to be black. That's an awkward racist moment. You see what I'm saying? Like, just think about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people say this staged event. This is not a staged event. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. That's an awkward racist moment. It just so happened to be this. So happened to be that. Not a coincidence. Awkward racist moment. You know what I'm saying? It just so happened to be two different people from two different quote unquote races. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. You know? Like, it's just so much stuff. Like, with the Philando Castillo situation, that police officer just so happened to be white. And like I said, the victim just so happened to be black. I'm not saying that it's. I'm not saying that it's not a tragedy, because it is a tragedy, and it's sad, but what I'm saying is, it's an awkward racist moment with the whole picture of it, like, people think it's a race war, white versus black, that's how they want you to think, you fools, okay, because look, white versus black, those are awkward racist moments, we are all people at the end of the day, it just so happened to be that that person is black, that got victimized, and that person is white, they got victimized, you know what I'm saying, it's an awkward racist moment that you so happened to bump into a person in a different ethnicity, they don't gotta be white. They could be Hispanic. They could be anything. You know what I'm saying? They could be Egyptian. Anything. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna look racist because it's two different races. It's two different people from two different races getting into an altercation. People gonna automatically think it's some racist shit. You know what I'm saying? People gonna automatically say some racist shit. But whole time, it's just an awkward racist moment. You know what I'm trying to tell you. But speaking on prejudice, like I said, like, you walking down the street. And the white person think this, the black person think that, blah, blah, blah. That's prejudging. You know what I'm saying? It's not racist. You just prejudging because, you know what I'm saying? He was a white guy. They had on loafers while it was summertime. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some weird shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you prejudge them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like with the rock stars. A lot of people think rock stars gay because they wear the tight jeans and tight clothes the whole time. They be fucking the most hoes. Like, like just keep it out there, bro. Like, what's that dude's name? Russell Brand or some shit? Him, like it was 